father rode in united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world, and split the boys that held their prison to the world tree and left it to drift unanchored, a place of exile. For centuries this world slumbered uneasy, but it did not die. As glacial ages passed, kingdoms rose and fell out of the sight of the, the gods. When Odin heard his enemies were growing once again in strength, he looked to Midgard and sent his Valkyries to scout the battlefields for the greatest of their warriors. That to the world they would be born again in Valheim. This is much better. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to something new. At least new to me. <laughs> Some of you might have heard of this game. It's called Valheim, and it's not completely finished yet, but it's close. They recently put a new DLC called Mistlands into the game and it's currently version 2.1.2.6 and this is a public beta branch of the game and I bought a server but not only for myself I play here with two other people well, at least occasionally most of the time I will be building and gathering resources alone but when the weekend will come I will meet up with some friends from YouTube, Tetritech and the Grimnir, and we will go for bosses, we will go exploring and vikinging, it will be great. I previously played this game, I mean, actually not only played it, I was a beta tester for it, <laughs> under NDA and all that jazz. So, you know, I'm, I'm not unfamiliar to it, I'm just unfamiliar to the Mistlands part. I will need to build some shelter and make sure that I'm ready for the weekend. That's what the other guys will do as well. I just need to find myself a good place. I think, uh, yeah, the direction I came from should be good, but as, as I've seen a picture of this section here, because actually I'm not the first one here, the Grimnir was here and he was uh, mapping out this section of the map, and it, it's actually an island of some sort, quite a big one. <laughs> I heard that in the Mistlands we will be able to go up to the world tree as well. So what I will do is that I find myself ashore, gather some resources, and I'll be back to you once I have some shelter. Hey, I need to get back to the controls. I have not played this game in a while. Yeah. That will be great. In case you wouldn't know this one, when you log in first time, Odin's Raven, Hagin, will uh, talk to you and tell you about why you are here. Sent here to be guide me in my travels. 
megalith surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. Yeah, so these stones here are the bosses of the game. Oh jeez Louise, this is a new one. I know the deer one and we will probably go for it sometime during the weekend when everybody is online. The second boss is in the dark forest. I really like his design, that's a good boss fight. That monstrous one is in the swamp and I remember I was trying to beat it for like a very long time and I was not successful and it turns out there's a trick to it. If you are using blunt weapons you can basically beat it down first try but I was going more towards uh, bow and arrow so you know and it has a giant resistance for bows and arrows so you were not able to hit that one. The dragon! Actually after that one this one was surprisingly easy especially if you are a bow person. The king beneath. That was an interesting fight but not particularly because of the uh, I mean the, the difficulty of it but mainly because finding the king beneath was not an easy task because I, I'm not sure I can show it to you but this is my immediate surroundings this small porch here but I can zoom out quite significantly so a Valheim generated world is, is a giant one I have roughly around 140 hours in Valheim and I remember the first time I was exploring I was not able to explore like less than 10% of it <laughs> that's how I got to the king beneath and I, I actually finished these bosses before but this one I don't have any idea what this one is this is a new boss and I'm looking forward to figuring out where it is and, and to beat it this boss is in the Mistlands oh yeah this is gonna be fantastic alright magical stones were scattered throughout the lands by Odin a signpost pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If you inspect it closer, this will reveal the summoning place of Aikater. Your first prey. He is mighty beast, so you need to properly arm yourself before you even attempt to defeat him. Yeah! Not, not only he is a mighty beast, he is also shooting lightning and extra fast and uh, if you are having a buildings around and you might run there for protection that deer will just smash everything to pieces so a hard one all right I was not particularly sure where to go but let me just run around a little bit, I will cut back to you once I explore a little bit more of this island and then I can decide on a spot where I will put my base down. Alright folks, so I did a little bit of a running around and I just noticed when I came back to the stones where we were spawning that there was already a building here. It turns out that the Grimnir was here yesterday evening and he was building stuff all around the place right next to here and also I've seen one small base here up on this island I mean the very top of it he said he added that there so in case we need another outpost like a, someone needs a bed in that area then they can rest there and claim the bed and he also built just look at this it's quite a cool little cottage here he added some fire here and the workbench 
I don't think he, he was busy. He actually put three beds in here. He <laughs> was really, really prepared. That's his bed. I claimed the middle one and that uh, I can get the third one in case he will come online and see this. And I was trying to figure out a way to, to, to pinpoint a good location for our base. I didn't really get that too far in the process. But I figured that we perhaps can put it somewhere between two islands when we can utilize two beaches. Um, I'm not particularly sure where though. This seems to be the closest to the obelisk and I'm thinking about perhaps using this one. Or there is a larger lake here and we can perhaps settle around that one. I don't, I mean, there are some good places down here as well, but um, I, I thought the closer we are to the, um, the stones, then we can perhaps uh, later on we can, uh, I don't know, build around that one somewhat, I don't know. I, I may need to look a bit more around and explore this middle area and then I find out if a better base location would be here on the tip or somewhere around this lake. I mean the lake is nice but we definitely need something with access to the ocean eventually so this is why I was thinking more like in this area. And yes you seen it correctly I have a school here which means I died. It was late in the evening, there was a skeleton, one star, superstar skeleton, and uh, I was not particularly prepared, as you can tell. I mean, one piece of loin clothes, not even that, to be honest. But I did gather a couple of stuff here that I can use, raspberry, food. I even have some meat, because I found a couple of boars, and I have deer meat, because uh, the skeleton that was killing me, it was also killing like five necks and uh, one deer, so I'm lucky enough to have some good meal as soon as I have some place to cook it. I am not yet sure. I do like to settle around the stones usually, but I don't think we can build like a big structure here. Maybe we can, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I would prefer to build on the seashore for the simple reason that eventually we need to venture out. And for that we, we need boats and boats are only on the sea. Let me look at a closer look at this shore because I actually like this tip a bit better. That's what she said. <laughs> In the meantime I'm just picking up everything I can because I'm still not too well equipped with stuff. I see the Grimnir was cutting out a couple of trees here and it was Actually, a good way to, to to clear out a position, and I think this would be a good place to start a base for multiple reasons. One is that it has another bank right there, and I will go there. So, if we build here somewhere, I guess. Then there is enough place for people on this shore, on this shore, right there, and we can build a cool bridge on that line there, so, and, and another base up there. It has access to the sea. I think it, this would be a, a, a good location, so I think I will claim this rock as my own. For some reason I have some mild fascination with building on water. Don't ask why. 
And it's also a fishing spot next to it, so this would actually be a fantastic opportunity for me. Alrighty, let me cut back to you once I built my hut. Alright folks, I started building here in this location, although I've not managed to get that far yet. I'm cooking up my meat and I will build sort of like a platform here if I can. As much as I can. <laughs> it will be a small building. And, to in other good news, I was speaking with the Grimnir and he told me that he will come online soon, so I might not be alone with my building. He also said it's quite okay to build here. He was not... Uh, I guess he will see the place when he gets here. He saw it because I think he was the one who cut the trees out there. And he will start building his own base alongside me. Oh shit 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 shit, oh, god damn it. I forget my meat. <laughs> and when you cook it too long it will become coal. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stay here until I'm cooking, otherwise my stuff will go to waste. Although as you can see, some stuff was unlocking with me touching the coal. Oh yeah, the deer meat is cooking. I unlocked something called... Uh, something that I cannot craft here. Now oh, it needs a roof. Uh, so many requirements. Uh, the thing that was unlocked is actually uh, uh, the beta tester cape. Only those people have it who were actually beta testers for the game. I think they might send out a code later on for pre-order bonus as well, I, I don't know. But I know that I, I, I think that that should be the beta tester cape. Alright. So cooking is done. Back to building. I will come back to you once I manage to create some roof on this rock. <laughs> home sweet home. Alright folks, oh my god. Somebody was busy with cutting trees. <laughs> I went around the map, at least that part that I see here in this island. And I was looking for boars and boar hide. And this is where my residence stands at the moment. Nothing fancy, but... What? I only had one chest. <laughs> I think the Grimnir might have been here to... trying to build my own base instead of me. <laughs> I need to hurry the heck up and make sure that it is properly built. I just went for boar hides because I really really wanted to craft the cape of Odin and I have enough scraps for it, I just need four of that. And I can easily get that by burning some meat. It doesn't look good, but that's alright, I have enough meat to burn. And I also picked up quite a lot of wood as well, so I can use that too. 
you were trying to put together a voice channel with Krimnir, but it was not working for some reason. We will eventually figure out, but... Oh, there he is. Seems to be in a shitty shape. Probably some log fell on his head. But yeah, I'm building a house and I will spend some time actually making this ground a bit more even after I finished burning stuff and I have my hero cape. I just wanted to quickly show you that one. Oh, what the heck are you still missing? Oh, I forgot to pick up these two. And now... Keep a foot in. Here we go. Let me equip it. There you go. Black and white. Fancy cape. Alright, folks, I come back when I made some progress with the house. A little update, folks. We randomly meet up with Krimnir and we are exploring. <laughs> we had a little fight before in the dark forest, but now we are just... I guess he's hunting for deer. That was his main goal. Or at least every time we were seeing a deer, he was aiming for them. He already has a bow. So I'm a bit behind him. But we will get there eventually. For the bow you would need leather. I... I don't have enough leather. We actually managed to eliminate a giant grayling in the forest. Stop here, motherfucker. <laughs> I was afraid I have lost him. We tried to activate voice chat, but it's not working for some reason. It's working from my end, but I don't hear him when he is talking, so I'm not sure if his input and microphone settings are weird or this cord is not working or I need to set up something. I try to solve it out by the weekend. But you know, for the moment this is just silent running. <laughs> I think he was just about to explore this island, nothing will be the goal in mind. I come back to you if we figure out a, a good place. I think we are heading for a, a dungeon. But the dark forest at night. Oh, I think he's looking for pine. Oh, 
I see the sun is coming up. We are old. Oh, no, but these are just fur, not fine. This will not give us that material that we need. Jeez Louise. I think I see a pine. I will go there because I also wanted that one. If you cut out a pine in the forest, that will unlock a new set of crafting materials. Oh, jeez Louise. Shaky. Oh yeah, stack breaker, log beam. Oh no, I'm carrying too much. I can actually throw out that one. Did I learn? I learned these pine log beams. These are very cool. Mm. From furniture wise, sitting log. And I guess the rest is available only from when you have a workbench. But I will not work with that. Right now. Food levels are low. I have meat, but I don't have the apparatus to cook it. Oh, look at this carrot! And blueberries. These are great. From blueberries and red, the, the, the red variant, you can create jam, and that's a fairly good food. the boar. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Or nee, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I need their meat. Oh, there are more poor here. Sweet. Don't go anywhere. I take all your stuff. <coughs> This land is hard and wide, but we who are brought here are harder still. Take comfort, traveler, in the gifts before you. The good wood, stone, fruits, flowers of the forest. Look also to the wild boar who roam these lands. They fear fire and hand of men, but they can be taught to obey it. Go quietly to them, let them eat of your stock roots of the ground are their pleasure oh this is actually teaching you about how to tame wild animals and how you can do it is basically you trap a wild boar between fences and you throw down carrots and uh, when they calm down because you know if you are close to the boars they are very angry but when they calm down they start eating the carrots and eventually after a very long time they became friendly to you and that's fantastic except last time i was checking this uh, it was uh, made so that they, they didn't have any more health point than their normal counterparts so you know they were not really useful for anything I mean, they were useful for, uh, you know, being kept as like pigs, because if you had more than one, they eventually started making small boars, and then, you know, you could eventually had an infinite supply of meat. I guess we are close to hitting the 40 minute mark, so soon I will take my leave. Oh look at that, it's a boat. Oh, and there's a chest there. I will not leave these here. Oh jeez, I'm quite full. But I can throw out stuff. Actually, I think I can throw out wood. I don't really want to, but... Oh, I think this is copper. I will mark it. 
because this will be important later. Although copper and tin are not hard to find, you can get them anywhere. See what he meant. He was actually hunting for trolls because he wanna get the sneaky uh, cloak. Damn. use this. I want to build the stuff to repair but it seems I cannot. Or can I? Hold on. Maybe I can quickly throw together something. Oh yeah, cool. Because I could repair my stuff. Yeah, I'll leave it here. check something. Oh yeah, I can make bow and wooden arrow. I make some arrows. Organize it so it's at hand. Jeez, no skeletons. 
Spooky scary skeletons. We are too good for them. Oh, cool! I can create a bone tower shield. I have not seen that one before. <laughs> and we found the dungeon. Bring a light source. Oh my. Inventory full. <laughs> All right, folks, I think this will be the end of this episode. As you can tell, the last fight was not going as planned. 
<laughs> I guess he was looking at the map or something because he was a bit distracted and we were ambushed by forest creatures. He is, I guess, heading back eventually. Yeah, look at it. We went all the way down here. <laughs> Maybe we need to come through my house, down the pine stuff and down here. It will be a long journey for him. Oh, he is actually coming. <laughs> but you don't need to wait for that, folks. I bid you farewell here and see you in the next episode. Bye 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 bye